Charity Job last saw her daughter Awa on the morning of April 14, 2014, when she left for school in Chibok, Nigeria. Awa is among the 276 girls who were abducted by Boko Haram and one of the 112 still in captivity. The insurgents came and took our children, including mine and those of my relatives from their school. Some of us developed high blood pressure and died as a result of the incident. We that survived, we have children. If I die, who will take care of them? The mass abduction of the girls in 2014 triggered a global outcry and sparked the creation of the Bring Back Our Girls campaign, BBOG, in Nigeria. And for nearly five years, parents like Charity have been hoping their children will return home one day. We've been coming from time to time to search for our girls. Sometimes when we come, we have to wait for the sun to go down. Some people faint from the heat, and sometimes we go back very starved. But advocacy group BBOG is accusing the government is not doing enough to ensure the release of the remaining girls. The group is recording fewer numbers at rallies, but Kapani Yanga, rally coordinator, says they will not relent until the government responds. Since the 106 Chubok girls are released, we have not had anything from the uh, from federal government. Federal government have to stand up, or have to stand up to their re uh, responsibility. The government secured the safe release of some 21 girls in October 2016, and another 82 in May 2017. Al Kazim Abdul Qadir is spokesperson of the Presidential Committee for Northeast Initiative. He says it is negotiating the release of more girls. And I'm sure very soon we'll reach a middle ground where some of the abductees will be released to their families and to the society at large. In 2015, then candidate Buhari promised the release of the abducted Chiba girls and others taken by Boko Haram would be his top priority. But observers say in recent years the president has focused largely on the economy. On the fifth anniversary of the girls' abduction, advocacy groups like Bring Back Our Girls are calling on him to remember his first promise to bring the missing Chiba girls back to their families. Timothy Yobiezu, VOA News, Abuja.